Welcome to an IJ DM quick take, or should I say quick tape? Well, we are not really going to look at this tape deck in detail. I already did a special on it, which was way overblown for what it really is. But about a second one, and I actually have a third one that I've been working on. But the wow and flutter is just worse than these two. I don't. I did everything the same. I'm not sure if it's something with the belt, but uh, who knows? And yeah, these are pretty much the same. I mean, on certain buttons, there's certain things that are a little different. This one's more designed, I think, for actual loading of programs. And this one's more, you know, you bring it to a meeting or whatever and record stuff and it has voice actuation where this one has a monitor. You can actually hear vaguely, it's not very high, but you can actually hear what's being recorded into it when you use the aux inputs. But the, uh, as you can see, they're they're, they're very much identical from the sides and the back just different colors that's it and different branding one's realistic one's candy but i mean otherwise they're they're pretty much the same and other than the fact this one has a nice little strap to it and and all that but uh both have the volume wheels although i noticed this one you can turn it all the way down i think it just kind of puts it at a normal level kind of thing not really sure this one doesn't really do that but uh they're both kind of neat and yeah i did kind of just uh fix them up the best way I could and, and clean them up they were both in rough shape when I got them so we'll take this one out of the picture because it's already been a star of a show so let's use this one and uh, I don't know the fascination with these is I had one of these I traded back in the day in the 80s when I was had a friend that lived down the road and I traded him on something for her for one of these and then it ended up dying and it's probably because the belts went out on or something but I'm not really sure but <clears throat> what I want to do today is I had an uncle that uh, he served in Okinawa and, and uh, served in the uh, military and part of his collection and I found this actually digging through some stuff uh, is the fact that it's just weird. It's, I mean, he had some weird music taste. Uh, I mean, like he listened to like belly dancing music and stuff like that. I mean, he had some other good, good tunes like West Country Western and stuff. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it actually says compact cassette on there and it has a logo. It's a C60 tape. So it's probably 30 minutes per side and hi-fi and I think just picked out a package and it was interesting in this this thing he had it stored in and this was this came with a lot of his his collection was the fact that um <laughs> is an ad for uh super tape uh I guess that I think that was yeah realistic uh which Radio Shack realistic I mean I think this was the upper version of this tape but it was kind of cool to see this ad and then this I don't know if he was looking at this deluxe mobile AM SSCB, SSB CB or what, 169 bucks, uh, or he was looking at more tapes. Maybe he was looking at more tapes and getting more into compact cassettes, which is funny because I don't know if he even had uh, one of those. So the question for everybody is, and I'm going to hold on this one. This is why this one's going to be like a super duper quick take. And I got a little bit of wind here happening. Not as bad as the last video I did, and I do apologize for that. Uh, is this tape is actually sealed and from all I can I know of it and made of Japan parts and what it says on the label and the, the the girl in the provocative pose is all I know and it's not a videotape it's just a tape cassette so good god who knows what's on this thing and is it is it even copyrighted and the question is this is sealed so should I list this in some kind of auction or and buy some cooler stuff or should we just rip this open and, and throw it in this this tape deck and and see what's on it because honestly it's been sitting on my desk for about three four weeks now after i went through that crate and i'm like do i open it do i not so i'm gonna let my viewers decide and let's just say i don't have a lot of viewers but that's okay and if you want to make a comment subscribe and make a comment that would be great and even if we get three or four people say yes open it let's hear what's on this tape what's on this this is a mystery to me because i have no idea what it possibly could be it's just one of those weird things so that is it for now and be sure to subscribe we'll see you next time